All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Ha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. For I learned this truth from according to the Bible. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing the truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sincere believers and the few Akwaf, I would like to say Shalom. Okay, I'm the Akim Ha'amayan. And on this morning, I just want to, uh, Lord, wouldn't this be an edifying lesson? Just going into how we need how by Shemal Shah to keep us with his Holy Spirit, man. Because we're in some dark times, evil times, meaning bad times, and it's only going to get worse, man. Okay, so this is the book of Psalms, chapter 51, and verse 11. And it reads, Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit away from me, man. Okay, and that's so important. And especially the times we're in, times we're about to face, and just on the day-to-day -day thing, man, we want to wake up, go to sleep every day with the Lord's Spirit on us, man, because Jake don't care about us because it's not making... Jake don't care about the Lord, Holy Spirit, because it's not making... It's like it. It's not making them any money. This is not... This is not that... Uh, this is this wasn't given to the whole Israel, man. This brings comfort to the hopeful elect. This keep the hopeful elect from deeply going off, wrongfully going off, man. Ultimately, the fear of your how about Shemal Shai, okay? And me, myself, I've been battling with a lot of things lately, but the Wadi how about Shemal Shai for the chastisement, okay? Sometimes you got to bump your head a few times, man, just to get on right, man, okay? But... Once again, I'm going to read Psalms 51 and verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence. We don't want to be cast away from the Lord's presence, man. And we don't want the Holy Spirit taken away from us, man, because it's a lot of bug outside here. And you you wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to do, man. Man's goings, let me get that. Because without this spirit, man, you wouldn't know what to do, man. Okay, Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. And it reads, man's goings are of the Lord, Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? Okay, so this Holy Spirit keeps you, it keeps you grounded, man. It keeps you rooted, okay? It keeps you rooted, man. It puts you right back on point, okay? Even if you're bumping your head, man, you thinking crazy, or this, that, and the third. Because this flesh is very wicked, man. It's at a battle, it's at a war every day. Fighting. You got to fight, though. Sirach 428, scribe for the truth after death. I mean, scribe for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So like you for that. Okay? So that's what we want, man. We want the Lord to keep that hedge of protection on us, man. You don't want to be going back out there. In the world being a whole complete nigga again, man. No, man. Fight. Pray more. Me, myself, I need to pray even more. It's never enough prayer. Okay? It's never enough asking, man. Because that's where that stress come in, that, man, when you try to do everything by yourself. Scriptures tell us not to lean onto our own understanding. Okay? And a lot of times it be things that the Lord don't even care about, man. We scratching about stuff the Lord don't even care about. Okay? And we shouldn't even care about. Okay? To hell with this place. To hell how people look at us, man. We was given something that nobody but the hopeful to let. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. I, myself, and the sincere Akim and the sincere Akwaf, man. Those was the only ones that it was that it was ordained to have, to, to get it, man. It's truth. Okay? Get a few more precepts. 
and um, close out, man. That was on my spirit this morning. Just want to stay rooted and grounded, man. Um, let's get Isaiah. 33 and verse 6 and it reads and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and that's right man but the 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 lord's holy spirit that he blessed us with is going to is going to allow you to apply this wisdom and knowledge that's what's going to keep you stable it's going it's keeping us stable now mentally spiritually and now so physically stable, man. We we don't got the best bodies. We don't even got the best mind frame, man, because it's clouded with sinful thoughts. And we're trying our best to scribe after the spirit, man. Which is which 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 will be considered boring to the two thirds. This is not what this is not this is something they can't even try to do. Okay. Once again from the top, Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Okay, the fear of the Lord is a treasure, man. It go back to that fear. We really want to, we want to fear you. How about shout to the best of our ability, man? Because the Lord is watching us, and the Lord want us to be strong men, man. Strong soldiers, not no chumps, not no peons, man. Okay, fight that good fight. Be men. Show yourselves men. And it's easier said than done, man. You're going to fall. Gonna keep falling, but are you gonna get back up? Okay. Let's get uh Ecclesiasticus chapter eighteen. Ecclesiastes 18 and 27, and it reads, A wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning he will beware of offense. But a fool will not observe time. So that's letting you know that. Guess what? Everybody is not a wise man. The fools are not observing the time we're in. Man, we're in a time of Jacob's trouble. It's approaching fastly. We're in a time of a great famine. We're in a time of pestilence. We're in a time of the Lord visiting this earth. And we're in a time of the CHIP that's about to be implemented and made mandatory, man. We are in bad times, man. Evil times. Evil meaning bad times. Okay? So we got to cleave unto you. How about your shot, man? Let the spirit of you. How about your shot overtake us, man? Stick with the Lord, man. To hell with all this life, living Jake called life. This is not life, man. Michael 2 and 10 said, this is not our rest, man. Depart. We need to be setting our affection on things above and keeping that Holy Spirit. The Racha HaKadosh, man. The Racha HaKadosh. We need that every day, all day, man, to the best of our ability. Stay plugged in. Tuned in. Or better yet, you'll be a bug out. And I'm scared of that, man. I don't want that. Lord willing, the Lord sense, see that I'm coming. I'm making this lesson in a sincere manner, man, with a contrite heart, broken heart, to the sincere acumen and aquaf that may come across this lesson. And if it resonate with your spirit, man, we need the rakakwadash every day, all day, man. Okay, and I end the lesson off with um, Psalms thirty-four. In verse 6, and it reads, This poor man cried, and the Lord Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver of them. And that's what we want, man. Jumping down to verse 15, The eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. Jumping down to verse 17, the righteous cry, and the Lord Yahweh heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh, meaning near, 
unto them that are of a broken heart and save of such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, how will deliver him out of them all? And guess what? This is not uh, our home, man. And suffering here right now for righteousness sake, man, for the sake of Yahweh Basham, I was shy. You're going, it's for a greater good, man. We're going to reap the good benefits that come with the kingdom, man. We just got to stay diligent and to hell with having that nigga mind frame, okay? Just suffer, man. It's okay. We're going to be all right. And I'm saying that to boost myself up, man. It takes faith. So, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. I would like to close out by giving all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. How long is true from according to the Bible? Shout a warm to the hopeful elect pushing this truth and our righteousness and its sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sister believers and a few Akwaf. I would like to say shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect pushing this truth and our righteousness and the sincerity once again. Okay. Babaka shah, babaka shah, babaka shah, ababa, kwame asha Allah, ababa, man. DTA, soon. Shalom.